What's up guys, Trey Lowell here, and today I'm excited to review some $27 macro tubes from Meki. Are they worth it? Coming up next. So recently I purchased some macro tubes from my Panasonic GH4 and GH5. Coming in at about $27, this seemed like a very cheap item that I wanted to experiment with. Rather than going into the description or anything like that, I'll just talk about my experience with the macro tubes in specific. And since I have a Panasonic GH4 and GH5, my adapters are specifically for Micro Four Thirds cameras, so it probably would work for a G85, uh, a GH3, any of the Panasonics. So my goal was to see how these adapters worked on my Panasonic glass. And my firsthand experience with the 12 to 35 millimeter lens that I own and the 35 to 100 millimeter lens that I own was definitely something that I thought for $30 was a great bang for the buck. Small disclaimer, I was able to get the macro tubes to work for my 12 to 35, but I did happen to find that I had to get so close to the object that I was actually hitting the object with my lens. So I kind of spent most of my time on the 35 to 100 lens because it just gave me the ability to not have to be so close to the object. So any of you guys out there, I highly recommend. It's probably not even worth putting the macro tubes on a lens, anything 35 millimeter and below, and that would be for micro four thirds. But the one thing that I wanted to start out with first was trying some photography. So let's take a look at how that stuff turned out. So the photos turned out awesome. And one thing you'll kind of notice here is that all the shots are completely blown out in the backgrounds. And whatever is basically drawing that focus, it's telling the viewer or the person viewing the photo to just look directly at that particular spot in the image that I pulled all the focus to. So that's definitely a nice touch to have for outdoor photography, nature, wildlife, even product photography, I could find this being something that could come in handy just to get those crispy, blurred out backgrounds that a lot of you guys are out there looking for. And the next thing that I do is I had to test what these macro tubes looked like with video. So one thing I'll definitely start with is that you 100% wanna have this on a monopod or tripod. Because of how tight you are on your shots, any handshake is gonna be exposed in video. So either shoot slow-mo, shoot on a monopod, or shoot on a tripod, or honestly your video footage is just not gonna be worth it. And similar with the photography, you're gonna find that these shots are super up close, only a small amount of the actual video footage is in focus, but it can really make things pop if you're trying to kind of bring the attention to maybe a focal length of a lens or maybe a logo on something. Anything that you want to draw all the attention to, this macro tube is going to achieve coming in at about $27. And so overall, for $27, I don't know, man. These Meki macro tubes are definitely something that you guys should probably take a look into. They are extremely small. They can fit anywhere in your camera bag, and you can honestly just go ahead and adapt them to the end of your lens if you're worried about it taking any more space up. They don't come with lens cap covers, so that's a small disclaimer. You guys might want to do that, but I found even just having them hang around my bag, they still work great. Um, I am able to use autofocus with video and photo, but I do find that it's not as quick and as efficient. So a lot of times I was shooting manual, but $27, cool little item for you guys to check out. I'll put the link in description. And hey guys, it's Trey Lowell with Lowell Productions. And as always, if you like this content, go ahead and hit that like button. Like the content I keep producing on this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.